I wonder if I should grow up my beard for Australia. We're here at the uh, Kurumbin Wildlife Sanctuary, which is a zoo in Australia along the Gold Coast. And we're gonna meet some koalas, some kangaroos, I think crocodiles. Let's check it out. He's a long boy. Look at his neck. I have a big koala. Like Jurassic Park up in here. I don't know if they're scary or not. Fuck no. Oh, really? Look at, the, look at their claws. Those claws could like do some serious damage. Oh. Whoa, there's just birds everywhere. Birds. Start singing. You could be like a Disney princess. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Why do you always find a turtle? I don't know, they're easy to find. They don't move very fast. Why? I know, Just let the train hit me. It's a low tech air conditioning hack. I hope the water's clean. Kind of a wild bin chicken. You can see it has a long beak, perfect for diving into bins. Once known as the white ibis, the species has evolved into a superior scavenger, the Australian bin chicken. Perhaps we could touch them. So there's a nice one over there. That one kind of looks scary. One male to five to seven females. Sounds like a party. <laughs> Mini kangaroos. Get closer. We're six months. <laughs> Riley. What? Touch it. It's too far away. James, which, which eye do I follow? Both. It's <laughs> 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 not right in his face, but you're gonna turn up and away. And then I'll just keep barking orders at you. <laughs> oh my god. Superb parrot. It's the best. <laughs> Checked out the Corumban Wildlife Sanctuary and it was awesome. Highly recommended if you're in the Gold Coast, just south of Brisbane. Uh, we're gonna keep exploring Australia now. Yeah. 
Riley. Yeah. <laughs> James, where are we going? <laughs> Hello. I'm the hexsmith. <laughs> Lost in fear or adrenaline rush? What is it? 70 movie. Bring. Gives a whole new meaning to teabagging. So the question is, is the ball inside real? Or is this just the sack? We're drinking and driving, boys. Take the next right onto Stanhill Drive. <laughs> Very simple first step. Eat up the banana. <laughs> Everybody wants to go for fighting. It's the best. Like, there's just like a bunch of oil all over the top of the water. Too. Oh, that's from your suntan lotion. Oh, that's me. It's <laughs> polluting. <laughs> So we're here at Lake Ainsworth, also known as Tea Tree Lake, and literally look at the water, it is red. This is because of the, uh, the leaves, and literally we're basically swimming in tea tree oil. Snap it, sniff it. Oh yeah. Now, if you drink this, you will get sick, but you are allowed to swim in it, and it does wonders for your skin, apparently. It feels interesting, like, I don't know if it's just the warmth, but like, I don't know, the, the feeling of the, like look, you can see like the oil ripples on the surface of the water. Look, look closer. I can't see that, it's reflective. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. Crazy. <laughs> no, Riley, There's two, oh, catch God. the duck. No, it never did anything to me. Catch the duck. I'm not gonna catch the duck. It's too far. Uh, it's not safe. I have to say. And oh, what wait. in the shop is safe? I don't know, but like the Canada the safety glasses. <laughs> the safety, yeah, the, the Health and Safety Act of Canada. Oh, we're not in Canada. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the health, and, the Canadian Health and Safety Act. The Australian bin chicken. the name of the place? Lennox Head. Yeah, okay. Lennox Head. Some pretty awesome. Surfing. Waves. Stuff. Ooh, surfing. Yeah, tons of surfers down there. Get a close up. Rock jellyfish? Yeah.
Mexico. Well, we had an awesome time in Australia, but it's time to go back to the cold.